Hello! Welcome to this edition of Hymns for Him. Today we're going to take a slight detour from our usual format, and we're going on a summer holiday. Yeah, all right, let's go, let's go! Our hymns let's today go. include <laughs> Holly, Holly, Hallelujah. Let us talents and tongues employ that Glenda Kilminster has requested. Thank you, Glenda. Oh, sing to God above. Alabare, and he leadeth me, that Ann Krisky has requested. Thank you, Ann. I hope that you all have printed out the song sheet that came to you from the church office and that you are ready to join in our fun. So, are your bags packed? Have you got your passport? Let's head out on our summer holiday. Our first stop is the beautiful Caribbean. And our first song is found in the hymnal at hymn number 172, Holly, Holly, Luya. Holly, Holly, Hallelujah is one of the most popular Caribbean songs in North American churches. Here at Living Savior, we use it most often as a gospel acclamation, which you will probably recall is the portion of the liturgy that we sing just before we read the gospel. Sometimes, as a part of this gospel acclamation, a cantor will sing what is known as the gospel verse, such as, O oh God, to whom shall we go? You alone have the words of life. And then the congregation repeats the holly, holly, hallelujah. So, let the fun begin. Join us in singing holly, holly, hallelujah. employ is relatively new to the Lutheran hymnody. It was first published in the hymnal supplement with one voice in 1995 and then it was published in our current hymnal ELW or Evangelical Lutheran Worship. The text for this hymn was written by Fred Kahn. Doreen Potter adapted the music from a Jamaican folk tune and named the hymn tune Linstead. Kahn and Potter were living on the same street in Geneva, Switzerland when Potter asked Kahn to write a text for the hymn tune. According to Kahn, he decided to write a celebratory hymn for Eucharist called Communion Calypso. The hymn calls us to use our talents, our words, and our actions to proclaim the joy of our faith. We are strengthened and empowered for sharing Christ's love by the sharing of Christ's body. In the words of the text, bread is broken, and by the sharing of Christ's blood, again quoting the text wine is poured so we're off to jamaica don't forget the sunscreen and your sunglasses and a bottle of water <laughs> Jesus lives again, the earth can breathe again, that's the word. 
gives us love to tell, bread to share. God Emmanuel everywhere. Jesus lives again, earth can breathe again. Pass the word around, close the door. Jesus lives again, earth can breathe again. Pass the word around, close the door. Oh, sing to God above. Our next stop is in sunny Mexico. For O sing to God above. You got your passport out? Good, let's go. The hymn text and music is by Carlos Rosas. Carlos Rosas was born in the town of Mexico, which is about 200 miles from Monterey. He left Mexico and came to the United States, and then he became a United States citizen. He attended San Antonio College and started a choir there at a Catholic church beginning with only five people, and it later grew into 70 people with a mariachi band. In addition to being a composer, he is a lecturer and workshop leader and a writer. He states his philosophy as follows. Music should be used at the service of the kingdom of God. It should awaken people to fight for the kingdom instead of sleeping while injustices are being committed. The hymn text is a reflection on Psalm 19. Let's read verses 1 and 2 from that psalm. Verse 1, heaven is declaring God's glory. The sky is proclaiming his handiwork. One day gushes the news to the next and one night informs another what needs to be known. So, as you know, David was the writer of the Psalms, and he looked to the heavens, and here, of course, meaning the sky, he wonders at the glory of the sun. He wonders at the glory of the clouds and the brightness of the moon and the stars at night. David says, that the beauty of the skies reveal to us the creative greatness and glory of God. Continuing on about the wonders of God's creation, David writes more. We go to the third and fourth verse of the psalm, verse 3. Of course there's no speech, no words. Their voices cannot be heard but their sound extends throughout the world. Their words reach the ends of the earth. A commentator on this psalm explains verses 3 and 4, and I quote, Though all preachers on earth should grow silent, and every human mouth cease from publishing the glory of God, the heavens above will never cease to declare and proclaim his majesty and his glory. They, for, they are forever preaching, forever like an unbroken chain. Their message is delivered from day to day and from night to night. Together we sing, oh, sing to God above. <laughs> Oh. 
blessing, a song of grateful love, hope and faith our hearts expressing, creation lifts its voice to tell your might and glory, and we too will rejoice to proclaim the saving story. hymnal supplement with one voice what was not included in the evangelical Lutheran worship so you'll need to sing from the song sheet for this song we get to sing the refrain in Spanish a la barre a la barre a la barre a mi senor translation I will praise my lord we're off to Puerto Rico question is should we fly maybe take a cruise I'll <laughs> say take a cruise <laughs> States of America. But our return takes us on another journey, a journey back in time to 1862 when the hymn He Leadeth Me was written. It was not a time, it was a time of, of, of an upheaval and insecurity. I'll say that again. <laughs> it was a time of upheaval and insecurity. Sounds like 1862 was not too much different than 2020, does it? Well, He Leadeth Me was written during the Civil War, so hence the upheaval and insecurity. 
The hymn focuses on God's constant presence in times of trouble and at the end of life's journey. Now, I have chosen this hymn to end our time together for a very different reason. My attention was drawn to the words in the first verse. Where'er, whate'er I do, where'er I be, still tis God's hand that leadeth me. We've done a lot of virtual traveling today through our hymn time together, but never left the watch care and guidance of our loving God. That's true too when we travel literally, wherever it be out of country, out of state, to the grocery store, or just to the next door neighbor's yard to say hello. God is there. God is with us. Whatever we do, where'er we be. Let's sing, He Leadeth Me, the first and fourth stanzas together. enjoyed this holiday edition of hymns for him as we've done a bit of virtual traveling if you plan to travel we pray that you'll be safe in your travels and we know that god goes with you as we just spoke in this song we just sang so be sure to take all the necessary safety precautions that have been recommended whether you're at home or whether you're traveling, wear a mask, wash your hands, stay distanced from your neighbor, but remember to love them. We miss you. We look forward to the time when we can all be together again in person. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs>